Okay, I'm working on this uh, glass door cooler here. I've had a Freon leak in it. You can see the tubing's pretty old on it. And every few weeks I have to put uh, gas in it. So I broke out the H10. And I, f I noticed that the cap here the had come loose and was dislodged. What happens is the frost uh, will break it and then move it slowly until it just about comes off. So let's... <laughs> the H10 works. Yeah. Ralph Wolf, Ralph Wolf was right. <laughs> It is a pretty good tool. Well, yeah, that's our leak. So I just have to put, get a couple of wrenches and put this on good and tight. Maybe I'll put some sealant on it too. Let me go do that now. Some Teflon tape should be good. Normally I'd put leak lock on it, but I didn't want to, uh, makes it difficult to get it off. That's good. I'm going to put this cap on. This is to mess the threads up. Wrenches on it. It's good and tight. That won't leak. Teflon tape on it. Put some soap on it. That's, that's it, guys. That that was. We were losing gas out of that every few weeks. Like about five, six weeks, I had to put gas in it. But that was the problem right there. It's always something small. Actually, I thought it was uh, the tubing had pitted someplace in the, in the middle of the evaporator coil. Just took the evaporators apart all the way down. I have to put it all together now. But, um, okay, guys, we got that leak fixed. Later. Some eagles up here.
I think they're horny eagles that are trying to mate. Yeah, they are. Oh well.